Howdy, my name is Dustin Kirkland. I'm a product manager, product strategist at Canonical. I work on Ubuntu. Yeah, so I've, I've been coming to these Linux Foundation shows for years. It's a fantastic venue. Uh, we're very excited this week about uh, the work we're doing with IBM around the, uh, the Z series mainframes. It's quite exciting. We've seen uh, you know tremendous uh, interest here at the show, uh, particularly with the with the ability to bring uh, latest and greatest open source packages through Ubuntu to Z on a very timely, modern, fast-moving, agile schedule, it's uh, it's it's exciting. That's it's it's great to see that kind of interest in mainframe and Ubuntu on mainframe. Uh, the Linux one, yeah, it's a beautiful machine. That that uh, very stylistic look to it. We've got the. I, I, for one, like the orange accents with the with the black. But you know, what, what's really interesting is what's on the inside of that, and that's the the water cooled hardware, the massive processors and RAM, and you know, terabyte upon terabyte of of, of memory and disk. Uh, and seeing Ubuntu running on those is is a is a truly wonderful thing. Um, what you'll see here behind us, though, is uh, kind of the full gamut from some of the smallest computers in the world, these Raspberry Pis, and and uh, BeagleBone Blacks running Ubuntu to the Intel little mini cluster behind you, and you know now to bring the the mainframe into into the fold is pretty cool. From the smallest to the largest. The very smallest to the very largest. We're running the same Ubuntu across all of those. Obviously, recompiled for each architecture, um, but the goodness of Ubuntu, and you'll see here we've got uh, OpenStack. We're running uh, across across all of those platforms, and we're bringing that to Z. Uh, we've got uh, Linux containers. Um, certainly, the virtualization platforms, and and uh, you know, seeing containers running on the Raspberry Pi, on the Intel stuff, and you know, on the IBM Power and the IBM Z stuff is very exciting. Is there any announcements or anything on the agenda going forward that you could talk about? Announcements on the agenda going forward. Um, you know, I think I think we're pretty predictable, right? We release Ubuntu every six months, April and October. April and October, we've got a a big release, Wiley. Uh, Werewolf coming out in uh, October uh, 1510, uh, which what's really exciting is after that we really start working on the next LTS, the next long-term support Ubuntu, and that's 1604 uh, launching in April of, of 2016. Uh, from a server perspective, the LTSs are what we see, you know, the business and the industry really rally, rally around, rally behind. And uh, can I get to name your next release? <laughs> uh, what do you suggest? Uh, we always take suggestions. So we're on, uh, say again? A superhero. A superhero. Uh, so it, it needs to be an adjective and, a, uh, and, and an animal. And uh, we just did W, so we're on to X. So we need, a, uh, we, need a, we need an X adjective and an X animal. And I'm sure Mark would appreciate any help he can get on that one. Definitely come up with something. It's a shame that <laughs> Batman would have actually been perfect for the Linux one. Everyone has told, told me it's very it, Batman. It, hey, yeah, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful machine. Yeah. Great, thank you, Dustin. Yeah, you bet, you bet. Cheers. Cheers.